Zips to the outside, tries to stiff arm, but he couldn't get by. Option. Frazier keeps. Nowhere. Throughout his storied 17 year NFL career, Ray Lewis established himself as one of the most well known and respected players in the league. He won the league's Defensive Player of the Year and led the Ravens' record setting defense to victory in Super Bowl 35. Lewis also became the second linebacker to win the Super Bowl's Most Valuable Player Award and the first to win the award on the Super Bowl winning team. Lewis won his second Defensive Player of the Year award in 2003, becoming the sixth player to win the award multiple times. After a tricep tear sidelined him for most of the 2012-13 season, Lewis returned for the Ravens playoff run and won his second Super Bowl victory in his very last NFL game. On February 3, 2018, the fifth anniversary of his final game, Lewis was selected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in his first year of eligibility. Basically, Lewis was the type of player that teammates love and opponents respect, the type of player the Hall of Fame was built to welcome. But who exactly was Ray Lewis before all the glory and accolades in the NFL? That's exactly what we'll be talking about in this video. But before we proceed, please subscribe if you love your mama, if you haven't already. He was blasted by Lewis. Well, the defense certainly hasn't given up, have they? Certainly didn't fool Ray Lewis. Third quarterback sack of the season for Ray Lewis. Ray Anthony Lewis was born Ray Jenkins on May 15, 1975 in Bartow, Florida. He was the oldest of five children, one of whom was a former University of Maryland running back, Keon Lattimore. Lewis's early childhood years weren't always stable. His mother, Sanceria, was just 16 at the time of his birth, and his father, Albert Ray Jackson, was largely absent during his son's childhood. As a boy and the eventual older brother to four younger siblings, Lewis quickly became the man of the house and helped his sisters with their hair and made sure his younger brother arrived to daycare on time. Disgusted with his father's lack of contact, Lewis abandoned the name Ray Jenkins and took the name of his mother's boyfriend, Ray Lewis, when he entered high school. At Kathleen High School, Lewis was a standout wrestler and football player who overcame his smaller size at the linebacker position with a fierce intensity and unmatched instincts. During his four years at high school, he led his squads to a bevy of state and city titles in football and wrestling. He later revealed that his stepfather was extremely abusive towards his mother and he got a deck of 52 playing cards to start his push-up regimen so that he can get stronger to protect her. That's also the reason behind choosing 52 as his jersey in his professional career. 1992, Lewis was recruited and enrolled at the U. University of Miami, which at the time was home to one of the country's best football programs. And there, he quickly became a key cog in the Hurricanes' vaunted defense. As a freshman, he immediately made an impact, especially when he became the starter for Miami in their final five games. During his rookie year, Lewis piled up 81 tackles, two sacks, two tackles for loss, and four pass deflections en route to being named to the freshman All-American team. Lewis's sophomore season was even more sensational as he earned first-team All-American and all Big East honors. He led the Big East with 153 tackles and also contributed nine tackles for a loss, two sacks, and an interception for the Hurricanes team that had the nation's top ranked defense and finished number six in both the riders and coaches polls. Lewis's junior campaign was just a hurricane as he again was named All-American and All-Big East and finished as a runner-up for the Buckus Award which is given to the top linebacker in college football. He finished his junior year with an eye-popping 160 tackles, the second highest in University of Miami team history. The man also got eight tackles for loss, two sacks, two interceptions, a forced fumble, four pass deflections, and even a touchdown. He led the Big East in tackles in his last two seasons and complied the fifth most in Miami history despite playing only three seasons. After the 1995 season, of course, he decided he was ready to go to the NFL. The Baltimore Ravens, who were entering their inaugural season, picked Lewis 26th overall in the first round of the 1996 NFL Draft. Lewis eventually earned his undergraduate degree in arts and science in 2004 at the University of Maryland College. In a league that sees players shuffle around all the time with trades and free agency, there's something to be said for a player like Lewis that stuck with the same organization for his entire career. And as much as he accomplished as an individual and changed the way that position is played, it's the impact he had on one organization that stands out as his best contribution. General Manager Ozzie Newsom had this to say when Lewis announced his retirement in 2012. 
Ray Lewis will not only be remembered as one of the greatest to play his position, he will also be thought of as one of the greatest players in NFL history. Team owner Steve Bishotti also spoke about the impact Lewis had on his fellow teammates. He made people around him better, which is the greatest compliment that you can give anybody in football. And he clearly was that guy. Now that does it. That's it. Appreciate the view. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, thank you for watching.